boy, hell yeah, we are back. G'day guys, it's Jarrah here, and we are back with Monster Prom, but we are... We passed our first term, honey, so we're in second term. I am super duper excited, I saw a Jacksepticeye, of course, because... Mwah! Respect him to the highest of degrees. Um, he is like my YouTube... Not God. <laughs> He's just someone that I look up to so much in the YouTube hemisphere, in the YouTube world, YouTube galaxy, whatever YouTube is right now. I respect him so much. I saw that he's in this game. I remember pretty sure Nate wants the battles in this game. We got all my favorites in this game. And you know what? I love Monster Prom. I love the music. So why not play? We're in term two, ladies and gentlemen, and non binary people. Um, we want to do the second term. Let's do the full game, because from memory it wasn't that long. Ah, oh, spooky high school. The sweetest year of our lives. Back then we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey. Sorry. To discover who we really were. Choose who you were. So I remember from last time, I believe it was blue. I don't know who I'm gonna be. I don't wanna be yellow. I wanna be. Uh, uh, no. No. <laughs> Thank you, next. Okay, do I have. Alright! I guess I'm yellow, why not? And we had to yet. And we had yet to experience his ultimate challenge, the Monster Prom. I remember it clearly six weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we all were scrambling to catch the attention of one of our eight monster charismatic classmates. So they've added two more, I think, from memory, which is this one. And you, Scott Howe, a werewolf athlete who compensates with his rather small brain with a stupidly large heart. Miriam Vanderbite, 19, a sweet mermaid princess who, has a cute, who was as cute as she was genocidal. Polly Guys. 22 question mark. So, just from quick context, we tried to go out with her last time, and last time I played the blue character. A party ghost with an insane hum of hunger for all things wrong. Or do we try to go out with Damien? I think we tried both. Damien La Lavaine, 21. The fearless demon with a taste for destruction and love of fire. Voice by Nate wants to battle. Liam Delight. Lion Court 4XX. A hipster vampire whose standoff demeanor hides that he's truly a lovable dog. Ghost. Zoe. We don't know about this one. An elderish cutie who went from endless deity of the dark realms to ultimate fangirl. Isn't that like most fangirls? Calculus Hewitt Packer or CHP. Volume 1. Oh, he's so cute, sorry. A library computer has become a sentient robot ready to experience life to its fullest. Is that what he's doing? I can't really tell, but he's cute. Yeah, he's doing that. He's so cute. And Verena Oblin, 23. A mean, self-made Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. It was clear it had to be one of them, but who? We had six weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we had six weeks to woo them and conquer their hearts. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Woo Welcome to Mars Prom Stupidest Pop Quiz Ever! <laughs> All minds are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. Worry not, we're not using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. That's a different catalogue, obviously. Master Prime's stupidest pop quiz ever, TM, will throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into a character's stats. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. <laughs> Let's get started. Which inanimate object do you think would make the best girlfriend or boyfriend, provided you were criminally insane? An ATM machine, sugar baby, here I come, dildo, a human sized pillow, deputy and character crew by myself. As a matter of fact, I have all the needed paperwork. I'm only waiting for the conversation, narrow my laws of our country to finally set forward into my 
female husband territory was clearly meant by God. <laughs> I have to go with that. That's just that's just beautiful. How would you talk a cop out of arresting you? Use your acting skills, convince the officer you're actually the police, you know what? Go for the overkill and make them pay your fine, you know? Use your seductive skills. They don't call it fuck the police for nothing. Use your gaming skills. Everyone knows that the police officer has to drop any charges on you if you manage to beat them a fair. <laughs> yeah, castle. <laughs> okay, so if I was being realistic, I would just be like, I'll pay for it. Um, but I'm not seductive at all. I don't know how to flirt. My flirting is high. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> um, acting skills possibly, but I wouldn't like go for the overkill. But, like gaming skills, I have to go for gaming skills because it got Yu-Gi-Oh in there. That was such a big thing in high school and primary school. What would your dream first date be? My dream first date. Oh yeah, so my dream just date in general would be like on the beach with a picnic, you know, watching the the waves and stuff like that and going for a swim or with like fairy lights and like um, watching the stars anything like that I love just sitting talking with people having full-on conversations like really knowing people who they truly are and not what you see them as I love getting to know real people professional meeting where you charm your day with some astonishing business advice while party in international waters mm, not big on parties a fierce fire that starts a lifelong rivalry opening to become something else a sweaty and manly wrestling match, sexy, devil's in crimes. None of the above? I'm gonna say crimes only because you have to spend time with each other, you have to like, you know, get to know your partner and all these stuff, so. If you were a product, what would it be your slogan? I command you to enjoy me. Nope, full of fans, by the fans. Kinda like that so far. Objectively better than the other options, actually. No. Be ready for a long trip together. Too expensive for you. You won't understand me, and that's how I know you're cool. I like full of fans, by the fans, although I hate the word fans. Objectively better than other opinions. I really like that. Objectively better than the other options. That's cool. It's like, you know what? I am actually decent. Let's do this. And I am objectively better than the rest of y'all, even if I don't think so. All right. All right. So we got the auditorium, which we don't call, which we call a theater, classroom, library, outdoors, gym, and the bathroom. So we're kind of okay. We just need to work on our charm. I have. I don't remember what all of them do. That one's wealth. Okay, I'm a little bit of a nerd, so I'm going to class. The day you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes, after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary act of your high school. You gain two smarts. Damien's got calculated. It's backed in the corner, and things look heated. You head over to see what's going on. Quit holding on to me, bothead. I know you got a secret weapon. <laughs> Damien, please. Not all robots have secret weapons. Oh shit. Even my dad's Zoma has a secret weapon. <gasps> I can tell this Jack so much just by the sound effects. <laughs> Inconsiderate information. Hell does not have lawns. Ha, ha, ha. Mm. Well, okay. To be more of a tank than a lawnmower, and the weapons aren't so secret, they're uh, numerous. Hey, you're just trying to distract me by making me think about a rad tank. You're not getting off that easy. Show me your secret weapon! You know, defuse the situation before it turns extremely violent. But will you defuse it by distracting Damien or reveal Cal's secret? Um, no, I'm distracting Damien. Damien, I know where Cal's secret weapon is. It's mostly hidden. Location all poor. Hey, what about the balance system? Your secret weapon don't press. Um, no, that one. Red. Of course! Portugal. That's where basically everyone has their secret weapon. Huh? You learn something every day. <laughs> Be right back. I'm gonna drive my dad's lawnmower to Portugal and fuck some shit up. I am confused. You claim that my secret weapon is located in Portugal. I do not have a secret weapon in Portugal. Is that lying? I am happy. <laughs> Jungle boy. Sorry. If so, please teach me how to do it. It seems highly useful. You're always happy to share your to see your ways with a willing pupil. You and Calculus grow closer and you gain two smarts and one fun. Yes! 
I want Calculus and I to be more than friends. It's a lunch time. Oh, baby. All right. All right. Where's Calculus? Calculus! Prince Scott and Calculus sitting at the table, conveniently located near a pal. Calculus is charging. Scott's confused. Uh, what? What do you mean you don't eat, bro? If you don't eat, then how are you going to get swole? Premise invalid. I am a robot. Robots do not get swole. Swelling robot is always an extremely bad sign. No eating, no swole. How do you live, bro? Mm. Technically, I do not live. It is one of my greatest sources of sadness. Oh, don't be sad, buddy. I don't want to chew you up some pizza. Pizza always cheers me up. Same though. Invalid suggestion. Pizza is a food which I do not consume. I am not designed to consume organic materials, only electricity. But, 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 but. I'm actually pretty worried that Scott's head's going to explode. You might have to clean it up. But find a way to satisfy his curiosity. Scott, electricity is the coolest and most energetic thing to eat. Have you ever tried to eat lightning? Calculus, when I say, when you say I am not designed to consume organic material, all I hear is you're not trying to plant them. Nope. <laughs> lightning? That loud bright thing that comes out of the sky? I hate lightning. Oh, woo, woo, woo. Mm -hmm. Negative, Scott. The loud thing is called thunder. Oh, what's lightning then? The bright, the bright thing that comes out of the sky, but without the noise. Great. Oh wow, noise-free lightning. It's just like fat-free protein shake. Sounds so energetic. I'll go get some right now. Please do not. But it's too late. Scott is already running out. Sigh with his head. With his mouth open, staring at the sky. Good thing it's not raining or anything. Now you get to enjoy some alone time with calculus. Yeah, we do. All right. All right. We got the creepy cat lady in the outdoors. So let's go to. I'm like. The... Let's go to the. No, I don't want to really go to the gym. Which we just called the hole. But I'm going to the library. The day you spent some time on the library computer is managing your star kick. You said. You see a lot of people with a sensational video and impossible promises. Nice. You gain 1,000 money, but almost everything goes to cover costs, so you only keep plus two money. You catch tail end of the class classic Zoro slash calculus exchange. Mm. Oh, they're so cute together. Ugh. But um, student X teacher fake is super overdone and makes me really uncomfortable because like if you inherit the barons of the power. Power, like, could you imagine how problematic it would be if PGS hooked up with one of us? Ugh. Server error. I cannot seem to recall what principal giant spider looks like anyway. Not, not found. Oh, the Germany students adjusting to the rules is pretty Let's high. Get down to business. You there, killing machine in absurd terror. Ah. Ugh, rude. I need an impressive ally to fight against the reign of Lave and the eighth circle of hell. Input, quickly respond about your sense of fashion being from the 8th circle of hell. <sighs> I have no need for robotic criticism. What I need is the power of being beyond the average monster to aid in my glory and rightfully just it take over. <sighs> no thanks. I'd rather just write a steamy fanfiction in which you and Damien are crack ship. <laughs> a crack ship who hates sex just annoy, just annoy you for annoying us. We need to act now, while King and King Lave are distracted by throwing in a nearly adorable themed brunch. I'm not leaving without you with me. Oh, she really means it. Time to help you out your classmates. Guess you better decide which one of you don't like. The school's full of to tough choices. Tal, don't be fooled. The other is clearly being undermined by Damien's spell already. Look at all these pictures she drew of Damien's shirt. She's Lave's sympathizer. No, calling this robot a killing machine is inaccurate. A really good killing machine would be a tank. And he's not a tank, so he's worthless. Go looking for a tank. No, broken. A tank? You want me to take a tank into the inner circles of hell? What a genius idea! Those arrogant lovers will never see it coming. They might expect an attack from a fellow demon. <laughs> I mean, one superior looks skill and talent for more dessert than the ruling of the eight circle. Yeah. But an attack by a tank? That's something by a king. A king would never appreciate. <laughs> that was shockingly easy. <laughs> True. But I still think it'd be kind of steamy if they put their differences aside for some hot demon demon action. Emotion found. Gratitude. Initiating sequence. Think when it's to yellow. Yellow. 
I am thankful for your help. Thank you for it. Finishing sequence, gratitude with expression. Ah. <sighs> ding ding. Yay! How's the computer posing as a monster living with students? So cute. Ugh, what a cute pie. It's so cute. Getting too charming and one fun. Yes. Yes, boy, I'm sweeping that robot off his feet because I don't know what job he is. Alright. Alright. Um. Okay, so I've been to the class, I've been to the library. We'll go to the auditorium. The day while rehearsing for class play is those and the muses themselves had descended to give you a figure to work job. Your performance was intense and inspiring. It will remember for generations, which is pretty rad by the high school standard. You into creativity. You know his calculus connected to another computer by many wires. Oh boy! <laughs> you worry it might be a weird sex thing that could Relieved from you doing weird sex things with him, so you decide to interrupt. Well. Uh, hello, friend. Yellow. Pardon the mess. I'm currently engaged in rather delicate project. What project, you ask? Why the creation of virtual reality? <laughs> my studies have indicated that the best way to improve my understanding of organic life is to simulate an entire universe full of it and observe the results. This is why we have virtual reality games. Like Minecraft, keep talking, nobody explodes, and other games that are really cool and I can't think of the top of my head. Oh, like Job Simulator. That I heard is supposed to help with something called a job. <laughs> Dang, you're really hoping he decided the best way of understanding gaining life was to get naked with you. <laughs> Maybe you should salvage this though. Please join me in my virtual world, and I will show you around. I will show you the world. Now that it's more like it. Learn a virtual world with Cal. You wonder what sort of sexy body he cooked up for himself in there. You put on the headset. Oh, that's cute. I like that. That's cute. That's exactly what I love to wear. It's just like track pants and a singlet. Hello and welcome to my virtual reality. <clears throat> As you can see, I have already completely real time character rendered sports clothing and realistic physique. I'm beginning to worry, however, that my physique might be a little too realistic. <clears throat> William is perfectly discussing art and creativity and has caused me to wonder. Should I merely be using the physics of the existing world or should I innovate? Tell him you should innovate because that way you can tell him all the stupid physical ideas first and foremost. Bad art artists copy, good artists steal. No, so you should steal the physics energy from the award. No. You just need to spruce up the original of it. How about Calculus's first law of thermodynamics? Energy can neither be created nor destroyed, but after a little while it can be turned to refuel. Awesomeness levels critical. <laughs> I love it. How can I miss such an obvious solution? Quantity analyzers reveal that one of the primary issues with the current build reality is a service. Severe Rayoli deficiency. Mm. What better way to rectify this diff defeat them by making ravioli the inevitable output of all energy reaction. Of course, I will, of course, also have to make the ravioli indestructible so that the law remains inviolable. I am happy! This has the added benefit of providing an in-bulk solution to world hunger. Truly, if I, if I have the good fortune to meet God, if there is a God, I shall lobby from this simple and brilliant change to the fabric of reality. Wow, okay, this seems to really like good idea. That's weird because it's actually extremely stupid. Whatever. To find one creativity. I'm gonna be such fun doing. At noon. All right. All right. Hmm. Where am I gonna go? Go talk to the tiger teacher. Creepy cat lady. I kind of want to talk to the creepy cat lady. <laughs> What's that? Shouldn't you be out trying to romance the classmates? I mean, anyway, welcome. Because I want to see what she has. Um, no. So nothing has changed, I can tell. Woo! Penguin moss. Um. A gift that keeps going. I see I'm wise enough to know when a gift keeps giving. Um, a corpse. A fake badass tattoo. Dragon heat. No, that would be good. The other girl. PR agent. Hmm, no. No, that causes an event. Latin voice, remember they used to be cool, now they aren't, well, a lot of people still wear them anyway, and they still think it's cool. Good old blood rituals. Creativity crafting your art requires years of hard work, education from great mentors, 
Bob Ross Palace. So I don't really want anything from here. I know I just wasted no. time. My stuff isn't good enough. Not cool. Whatever. Because I was trying to see if there's anything for Cal. So anything I can just oh, swag right. Cal into. So we did that. We did that. We did that. Let's go outdoor. No. Let's go to the gym. Back to an epic dodge for the match was taken, which I love and I wish I could play. Everything seemed lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team spirit. Lean to speak back to it. Come back. You're clearly a natural born leader. You're getting too charm. You managed to catch a moment alone with Calculus! Yeah, boy! He introduced each one of his little Hello, plant friends. Fellow organic life forms? This is my little Jade plant friend. Robert Plant. Say hello, Robert. Note I'm aware that Robert is incapable of saying hello, as he is a plant. But he does not have a gender, and I am merely engaging in what organic call imaginative playing. It's very, very extraordinary. Why? Oh, look at you two so cute together. You managed to say thank you when you realized that you were addressing Calculus in his plant. Everyone at the school was so afraid of commitment. Always flattened of seeing the link down. It's fresh to see a in a plant. I actually don't. Mm -hmm. I believe you are mistaken. Robert and I are not dating, actually, or otherwise. Well, but you care so deeply, don't you? In a small, as I understand the concept of caring, yes. And if anything ever happened to him, you'd be dead soon, right? Once again, you have asked a question about feelings, and once again, I must say, probably. <laughs> it is completely dependent on you for sustain. Is correct? Finally, an uncomplicated question. Yes, that is objectively true. Hmm. Sounds like you're dating to me. Oh dear. I have not considered the possibility that my attachment to Robert Plant might consider a romantic life <gasps> entanglement. <gasps> but perhaps, perhaps you are correct. No! You can only count those weird he's dating his plant. No, I want him to date me! Actually, according to this very thoughtful team magazine, robot and students, um, you cannot be a with robot. <laughs> no! That one. A lot of dog eared issue of where a tiger beats that you thought. And bye bye with such occasion. The cover article is an exhausting life of interspecies pairing that makes a Hi. sequel. Hmm, human and food processor, werewolf and hull turkey leg. Oh, here it is. Robot and oh. What does it say? Am I in love? How is your loneliness? Oh, no. According to this article, succulents and other plant based creatures tend to be aerosexual and aromatic. A deadly combination for a robot trying to learn how to feel romantic love. What a shame. It is that you guys would make such a cute pairing. Oh well, single again. Hashtag single. Is hashtag correct? No. I compute. Question was two smarts and one charm. We have kind of an all-rounded little boy here. I mean we're Alright! Our smartness is through the roof. Um Bonus we could probably get up a little more. This is why we're gonna go to the outdoor. That day during recess, you saw a half hour rave that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalated so much, but at one point there are like 300 people. Someone summons a demon from a nightmare dimension that can see it might dissolve the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a bad party. You gain two fun. And it looks like Calculus off by himself again working on his virtual reality. You don't know how he's able to shrink so many school responsibilities to work on this project. Then again, you shrink responsibilities of time to try and fuck your classmates, so. As you approach, you notice that the air around him is severely degreely warmer than usual. He must be pretty worried about something. Hello, friend Yellow. I am worried about something. Now it. Oh, well, it's progressing well enough in my virtual reality world. Intelligent life involved, developed languages in society, and kept seamless violence with a standard parable. <clears throat> it was going so well, in fact, that I decided to enter the reality myself to conduct a UX poll. Instead of provi providing me useful feedback, however, the citizens of my reality provided me with dead goats. Mm -hmm. Apparently, as a creator, I command a certain unanticipated level of awe and respect. I am embarrassing enough a uh, god to them. They have since designed the day of my appearance as a whole day, constructed an enormous and unsettling land tower on the spot, and are currently murdering each other over control of said tower. Senseless violence has spied well outside the acceptable mm -hmm. range, and now instead of improving their virtual society, the people are spending all their time putting my face on various merchandise and co-opting music genres to sing my praise. 
I must devise a way to cure them of this unhealthy obsession. But when I tried to tell them so, all it would spark a holy war. What do I do? Um, produce your highest rank worshippers in a controversy scandal with minors. No. No, that happens in the real life. We, we don't need it in a virtual reality world. Produce a little grumpy... I don't know what that is. Critical <laughs> levels of awesomeness detected. Hmm, interesting. A small, adorable construct that will argue for my non-existence. I worry, however, that one simple... That, own, that one simply will not be enough. How about 50,000? Hey, it's not your reality. You can talk out. Go ahead. Put to calculus is reality. Watch the... No, I should their magic. They have gone. So voting me, their very concept of religion as a fiction manufactured by weaker men. Look, now they appear to be arguing against the very concept of humanity and submission. I am happy! And look, how quickly they strip all the flesh off Gazan. Nature truly is astonishing. I'm not sure you even get the image of the thousand nations swarming over a gazelle, carcass out of your head, but hey, that's what alcohol is for. For helping Cal for these fake, his own death, you gain two creativity and one boldness. Cool? Yes? Question mark? All right. You arrive at your chosen table to find Miranda has locked one of her eating serves in the Iron Maiden. You are phased by calculus is still phased. Friend, Miranda, isn't locking your unpaid intern in spite feel sarcophagus unethical? Hmm? Unethical? Unethical? Incons inconsistent with rules and standards of ethics. <laughs> ethics? Oh, you mean the thing poor people have to instead of royal titles? But I thought ethics were a critical part of a good organic creature. That's a common misconception. The key of being, a, of being good is having a lot of money and punishing anyone who dares disrespect you. For example, this saucy surf darted to put ketchup on the hot dog she was eating on my behalf. As if I was the sort of person to put ketchup on a hot dog. 48 hours in the Iron Maiden should teach her. Error! Error! Warning, friend statement are inconsistent with internal moral compass, existing crisis, existential crisis, immediate. Uh oh, quick set Miranda Stray or calculus. What's this calculus? The screen with Miranda looks like it's disrespectful prison time for someone else. Miranda, let's punish yourself in a different way, say by giving her a frowny face sticker with the aggressive thing. Uh, aggressive glitter? Truly, you are more delightfully cruel than I. And I may not only torture for 40 hours. But glitter? <laughs> glitter is eternal. She she will be reminded of her transgression until her dying day. Ah, I see. Friend Miranda's ethics model is poorly calibrated. Excuse me, is that disrespect I hear? <clears throat> no, I feel no disrespect towards you, Miranda, because as a rule, I do not feel. Oh, wonderful! Would you like a job as one of my royal torturers? No, thank you. I will have a supply you with stickers if you ensure the surf's safety. With the extra sticker left over from Calculus's first printing, you two start thriving. Punch is sticker business. It's a bonding experience. Yes. So we're about halfway through the game, I guess. Turning All on. right. All right. Um, what's the team? Do we need to go bathroom? Let's go to the bathroom. Then you skip class just to hang out in the bathroom because you respect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging in the bathroom. She gives zero shits and two boldness. I need to pee, bro. You know, this calculus is taking one of his favorite seconds out for a walk. Suddenly, the wolf comes jogging around the corner nearby, crashing into him. <laughs> Her! What were you going, nerd? I am terribly sorry. I was simply taking my succulent for its daily walk. I know the succulent do not require walks, but I believe they appreciate it. <laughs> what a noob! <laughs> what? Sorry, bro, I wasn't listening. I was too distracted by your lack of facial hair. <laughs> I'm sorry? I mean, look at you two. What's the last time you shaved? <laughs> Never. Hmm. Are you talking to me and my plant? If so, there is a simple explanation for our lack of facial hair. I myself am a robot, and my succulent is a succulent. Neither succulents nor robots grow facial hair. <laughs> and it's succulent too, and you know what? I mean, it's long and hard and keep it in my pants, it's called my <laughs> Nice bro, good job, bum fist, good fist bro. Oh, you like succulents too? Can I see? <gasps> no, my little robot buddy, no. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just getting back to my walk. No then. way! How's it fast, bro? We're not just talking about you are manly facial hair look 
lacking acts that just wander around our halls. We demand you grow a beard now. Well, that's certainly not going to happen, but maybe you can't f you can find a way to convince the Wolfpack that Circulus is merely enough to walk these halls. Your sure face here is merely, but you know what's even merlier? A man made entirely of glass and metal. Doesn't, he just doesn't carry them all the time. <laughs> Whoa, your plant has a glass and a face metal. No, I am the one with glass and metal. Hey guys, this dude says the plant has a glass and metal face. I didn't even know plants had faces. <laughs> well, only one way to find out. Hey, but the so wolf pack slams his face and the cactus is pot over and over again until it's nothing. Oh! I didn't feel like heading metal and glass. I felt like headbutting dirt, leaves, and some pretty sharp pottery. Looks like plants are so tough mm -hmm. after all. No, they are plants. They are delicate and pure, and I value them deeply as a soul to my window, and to joy of being an organic life form. That <laughs> sounds lame, later, Wiener. With that, Joseph Lovely and Calculus to slowly, tragically sweep up the reins of his plant friend. With practice, is pretty stupid, but you're stupid for not realizing how stupid they would be. Two smiles and look. Damn it, I'm sorry, Cal. Kind of mean it. She's trying to help! <laughs> Alright! Good Cal. I'm going to class. Teaching is time. Teaching so she recruits a class techniques of not giving a shit and putting some kind of historical TV for you to watch. Well, you don't expect that it's super effective. God bless the golden era of television. This TV show is compelling thanks to a ridiculous amount of nudity and bloodshed. But at the same time, you actually learn a lot about history. You gain two smarts. And so, after careful internet. And so, after careful internet research, this plant truly does look good enough to. No! That's right, it is I, the international. In. Interdimensional prince popping up once more into your dimension to take my pistol of an legal age high schooler. And this time I'm here for. Is that thing of flyweight for playing that you're only interested in one of your six most charismatic classmates? Or perhaps some modest newbie, or maybe in people who are not anyone else, rather, but you brought them in. To I had him for a shop or something. No plant, right there. My plant? This plant? Planet Jean Jolliffe? Yes, the very same. She, he, eh, it, they. However, the inner object chooses to identify is clearly my soulmate. And marriage to Plangenia is the only thing that will save my lonely soul. Calculus seems unsure. Gosh, why is this prince like this? With crashing high schools. To marry people, I guess plant life now. You need to stop him. Wait, do you need to stop him? Shouldn't you just let him marry the plant? I'm sure your love's interest. No way, Calculus would be sad if his plant got married, would he? I don't know, probably. Based on your stats. Can't marry the plant, it's already married to the sea. Yeah, no, wait. Yeah, that's just. Nah. I don't know what I'm doing! Uh, thank the nine and half gods. You see, in my dimension, you can marry a vegetation if it's already married to a body of water. Just managed to see you works really in my favor. I'm willing to bring it. A half plant, a half man emerges from animation portal with the ungailing movements and achievement of a half plant that emerges from the animation portal. He speaks in a strange language, halfway between human speech and the sound of wind rustling through leaves. It's hard to tell what the ceremony is over, and that's it. In my dimension, you don't even have to ask the plant father and all robot holding permission to wed. Goodbye, I'm off to consume the onion. I, I didn't even get to say goodbye to Angelina Jolie. Now she's off forever into another dimension. Emotion found. Sadness. Loss. Remorse. Betrayal. <laughs> it's like, damn it, I'm not gonna marry you either. It will take you to prom. Oh, you just stop screwing up. Oh, look, Cat, you to be my oh, bae. Calc is enjoying a nice quiet lunchtime charge and so interrupts his revert hey, profession. Uh, hey, Calc! I'm making a quiz so students can figure out which boogie high, high school vending machine they are. You're friends with the vending machines, right? I'm friends with every person, friends though. Like, are you vending machine people that you're friends with? Mm -hmm. uh, it's a rather insulting question. Yes, vending machines are people, and yes, I'm friends with them. <laughs> Oh, so many machines have feelings. Of course they have feelings. Hmm? Which feelings? I do not know. I am a terrible friend. Oh man, don't be sad. We can figure this out together for my quiz. But how can we talk to the vending machines about their feelings? It's for logic out. Many machines seem to give away things when you put money in them, so put coins in them, ask about their feelings. Look up the manual line. I love conducting obsessive online search. Don't use our pure logic <laughs> out. I want a cow to love me. 
the your logic logic is sound. Vending machines have one input and one output. Let's see. Let us use the input and scrutinize the output. We'll go down the row of vending machines, stuffing coins each, and see what comes <laughs> out. A oh, look, one spent on um and joy. This one seems to dispense in arm and sadness. Mm. This one gave me arm and helped him trapped in this immortal shell selling sugar to high schoolers. Please kill me. I am happy. Understanding of friends feeling enhanced. You make a mental note not to buy any candy from the delight from that third vending machine. Calculus is alive with you, so and so that is good. I just want Cal to love me. All right. All right. Um, so where were we? We were in... we had lunch. We went to class twice already. I'm going to the gym. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Epic dodgeball. Miss of the battle, you spot a fellow player that seems utterly discouraged. She seems to think she's not worthy of anything in dodgeball, and she attempts to throw a ball at herself. Explain to her that in many ways you think she's unique and wonderful, but also to find the many pleasures in life. With your help, she's capable of finding reason to keep playing and gains her self-worth. You gain one BFF. Sadly, she's not part of this game, so the beautiful friendship will take place off screen and to charm. Calc? Yeah! Training to one of these little plants, and you I'll sell it when Dahlia swoops and ruins everything. Hello, friend Dahlia. Dahlia Kino. Yes, I'm Dahlia. Here to grace you with my presence. What are you doing, killing machine? I am mostering my newest plant friend, Stevia Wonder. So scrawny! That scrawny seedling? Why, I bet it wouldn't stand a chance against me in an arm wrestling match. Probably not. Hmm. I assure you, however, that Stevia is exceedingly strong and healthy. I have conducted exhausting internet research and taken every recommended precaution. Ha! Healthy, maybe, but strong? There's only one way to become truly strong in this life. Tell me, does your plant have a... Rival? Technical all plants have rivals of other plants in the life or death struggle for sunlight, nutrients, and... <laughs> Nonsense! I'm talking about one-on-one -on -one blood feud type of a rival. Like me and the spicy redhead baby, Damien. As Stevia lacks blood, I, I suspect it also lacks blood feud. Well, there's your problem. A rival pushes you to be your best self so you can make life horrible for the one you hate. Your plant will never achieve its true potential unless you find a sustainable rival. <clears throat> I see. Well, do you we want Stevia to achieve its fullest potential? Ugh, you need to interact to end this so you can get the flame back with calculus. Help him pick a rival for his plant get over. We can use another plant almost the end to but with edgy looks, a cowboy hat and pad attitude. So there's no better rival than you. Um no. It's over 9,000! Is that um Anna or Brizzy voice? I sound like her. I wonder if it is her. That is the best idea I've ever had, other than my own ideas, of course. But where can I locate such a rival? Lucky for everyone, we're prepared for this moment for some reason. You reach into your back pocket and produce a cigarette smoking, electric guitar playing, cowboy hat wearing, plant you engineered in Mad Botany. You call it Stevia Ray Van Gogh. Analyzing radness. Calculating. My reading indicates that on a scale from 1 to 10, this plant is very rad. Stevia Wonder is now objectively in field. New objective acquired. Improve Stevia's radness by teaching it to play the piano. That's the spirit. See what a good old fashioned rivalry can do. We're glad you recommended Renya's this plant while Calculus goes to teach his plant. You go get shit faced with your rad plant at a dive bar. You gain two fine, one charm. Don't want Calc to love me. Hmm. Alright. Alright, so that was somewhere. That was the gym. Well, the outdoors. Half an hour rain that goes crazy. Talking to June, the small magic Latino cat, when he starts telling you that you won't even be as fun as Bob the Scary Clown, you accept the challenge, you go straight to Bob, stab him several times, open his lean chest, and eat some of his guts in order to consume his fun. Really? Do you think that's how it works? Well, but it is, you gain too fun. Poor Bob. You see Calculus happily tending to his favorite little aloe vera plant, and suddenly. Save the the day. Day. Calculus, ain't. The fates we found you, a terrible curse, has befallen us and require your aid. I was built to help, literally. I have attempted to advance in terms of my proposal, but my prime detective remains. Well, as you may know from religious following our True TV page, we are currently engaged in a vicious struggle against the sun itself. 
The sun is a mighty foe capable of inflicting tremendous casualties, and we have fallen victim to its wiles. Behold. Behold. The comet uncovers their shoulders, real some particular vicious sunburns. And so we come to you, renowned herbalist, for a balm in our time of need. Let us cut the leaves from your little plants so we might avail, avail ourselves from the healing mm. properties. Let me to clarify your intentions. You require that I destroy my favorite aloe vera plant in order to treat your sunburns. We ask that you make a noble sacrifice to free us from our terrible curse. Yes. Internal confliction detected. I do not want to do this thing, but I am too kind to say so. Friend Yellow, what do I do? I think that is logically. Many people have done terrible things, but no plant has ever committed an evil act, so isn't the plant worth more than the entirety of monster kind? If you're looking for the view, why don't you just ask Vero? Only related? No, I'm just gonna Impressive! By the good, by the goddess, it is possible. We were the villains all along. Mm -hmm. If I respond in the affirmative, will you cease to demand the destruction of my treasure plant friend? Yes. Mm. Then, yes. Oh, how limited are the best animal ways. We can make it up to you, good and pure Alavia. Shall we weave you a spell, slay one for your enemies? I do not see how this is necessary. But we must perform a quest to absorb ourselves of guilt. There must be some tasks we perform on behalf of your plant friend. I suppose you could bring me one ice cube. One. Water my aloe vera plant by placing an ice cube in the pot so that the water turns the soil more slowly. We must save, save the, the world. world! An ice cube, a fitting prize for the most noble of the plants. Our only hope is that this precious ice can survive the heating machine of the vile sun. Yes, well, good luck. The comet rush off to find ice, happy to be on the mission. Calculus turns back to his world, happy not to be part of their mission anymore. For breaking this truce you gain, plus two charm and one fun. Okay, I'm hoping that we might have mended some brokenness there. Yeah. All right. But if you couldn't tell already, I'm very calc driven throughout this entire episode. He's not on the screen. Where is my calc? Where is my calky? Where's calc? I'm fucking this guy. Approach the lion's table with some hesitation. He seems easily pissed off, but you sure you won't take offense with Super Hello, right? This is so Tumblr. Hello? Hello? What kind of giant greeting is that? You probably did yourself since you clearly don't know. It's to bow. You think you're probably way to criticize the so you ask him to show him how to do it. <sighs> With pleasure. Just bend forward for the waist like so. Shit. You notice that all of the water is normally bounced and the concave pool on top of Leonard's head has spilled on the floor. <laughs> so, it appears you spill the enchanted water, which sustains me. I sort of can't move until someone refills my head with water in the stream I live in. Would you mind fetching me some water, please? Pretty please. Uh, I love myself. You freaking ask me to do. You just roof on my head, okay? It's more like it. You run to the bathroom, grab some water from a toilet because fuck Leonard. You're not sure if it worked, but apparently he must live in the sewer or something because it totally <laughs> does. Thanks, I guess. Now, what do you want? You hang around a wheelbarrow where I like grapes. Say dubs are better than subs. <laughs> dubs are not better than subs. They're talking about anime there, if you didn't know. Carry me around, will you? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Every time. Alright, hop aboard. Leonard produces a battered wheelbarrow, seemingly from nowhere, appearing. Apparently, this isn't the first time someone's been to do this. It's even got the leftover grapes in it, but they look a little odd. Lucky you brought your own. Leonard holds you around the school and the two classmates. Soon, however, you notice a disturbing fact. So, you know, the school aren't accessible to, wheelchair, uh, to wheelbarrows. You team up with the school's disability and advocated club and lobby for the installation of ramps and elevators to rectify this oversight. You do a good deed, practicing your public speaking skills and you gain four charm. Good, there should be wheelchair accessibility everywhere you go. And if there's not, bring it up in your school. All right. Bring it up in your neighborhood, in your area, wherever. Bring it up. Because it should be everywhere. We've done, let's see, outdoor twice, we've done classroom twice. We haven't done the auditorium twice. Um, class where you can't help before you're not as good at roles you require to you. There doesn't seem to be any way instead, but you might be an extra only way. You summon the devil, one of many, to make a deal to enhance your creativity just a bit. You gain two creativity. You use three lit you lose three years of your life, but who cares? You're rehearsing a scene from a tale of two bit processor with calculus and Miranda. But it's not going well. 
Here, little robot friend, let us try a theatre game to loosen you up a little bit. Error. If my bolts were to be loosened, I would collapse. No, Cacklis, let's try some improv. Remember what I taught you? Yes. And Close enough. Now, returning to the text of the, s of the scene. Alas, it appears that one of all my jewels is you. Error. Invalid input. I have not stolen, nor would I ever steal any jewels from you, friend Miranda. I cannot work under these conditions! Miranda storms off in a huff. Surely there must be some way to get Calculus back on track for the play. How can you make Calculus understand how fiction works? Um, my friend. But you have stolen the princess's jewels, checking your bag. The frame. Then frame him with putting some random jewels you stole from someone else in his bag. Calculus. Theory is about fiction and the suspension of disbelief. It is too hard to explain it to you who spoke a language. Let me explain in the language of salad. You root around your backpack tossing out a shark, some high heels, and a bag of water until you find what you need. With your ancient and cursed katana, you begin to chop vegetables. All kinds of vegetables. Argula, or I don't know what that vegetable is. Beets, bok choy, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, celery, collard greens, endeavor, eggplant, kale, lettuce, peas, spinach, Swiss chard, turnips, carrots, tomatoes, bell peppers, which we call cu uh, which we call capsicums here, cucumbers, chickpeas, lima beads, like it's a lot of vegetables, okay? A lot of vegetables. You juggle them with your ribbon dance. You ribbon dance with them. You celebrate them. It's a beautiful display. That was beautiful, friend. Yellow. I appreciate your awareness that spoken language is often difficult for me to comprehend, since my first language is binary code, zero one zero zero one one zero one one zero, which vegetables are so much closer to emulating. Thank you so much, yellow. Should I say carrot, carrot, eggplant, corn, carrot? I don't know if I can idea what he's saying, but hey, there's an eggplant there, so you can't be that bad, huh? Too smart one for me. Get my bonus up. I need to get my bonus up, honey, but as long as I'm flirting with Cactus, I'm right. What's, what's bonus? I'm just gonna go to the library. That day you spend time in the library PC mining some bitcoins. This is supposed to have something to do with solving rhythmics and the rise of cryptocurrency, but you guess that nobody actually has any fucking idea what, how it works. Anyway, you gain two bitcoins, which is equal to Two million dollars, which unfortunately is equal to two months of dollars. So, two months. Two money. Years later, Calc approaches you. You can tell he's nervous because all his fans are running at maximum <clears throat> speed. Hello, friend Yellow. My calculations indicate that I progress greater than average and more feelings in relations to you. I am considering upgrading our relationship to more than friends. However, constantly analyzing of the relation data pools indicates a disturbed trend. <clears throat> If a potential love interest cannot get along with their partner's parents, relationship success probably drops to 0 0.006. I have, I have what you organically would call a good relationship with the library computers that function as my parental units. I would like you to meet them and receive their blessing, since you are such a kind and upstanding individual. This should not be an issue. Oh fuck. Neither is objectively accurately describing more accurately than being horny and horny. Well, looks like you got to conquer a brilliant pair to woo Calculus's parents. Um, offer to defrag their hard drive for them. Isn't that the head massage the computers? Learn binary so you can in their native tongue. Aww, you pick up copy of binary and get to studying. You don't have very much time to practice though, so nowhere near fluent when you meet Cal's parents. Greetings, you say to them. What's taking you so long, said Calculus's dad. Why do you like numbers or something? Frankly, in friend, you would assume we use binary, said Calculus's mom. I know your lunch is Italian. Well, he told me it wasn't! Also, I'm sure you're aware. My spelling, you're such a stupid. You're too smart to one chump. Damn it! I should have gone with the first one, but it's a binary would be smart. Grr. Alright. Calculus. We grab a skull and cast tail scores and then he comes back and sits down. Oh man, everybody's butts smell great today. It's like a big K of butts. A bouquet. <laughs> <coughs> My apologies. You look at- And look at this, Yellow is here too. Hey Yellow, I bet you have a butt for me to sniff. Scott, I advise you to terminate your current course of action. What? Translating previous uttering is Scott-related format. One moment please. Scott, 
Smelling bugs equals bad. But how can smelling bugs be bad when smelling bugs is good? It's not good, it's bad. See also uncut invasive and totally nasty. Uh, um, but, uh, but, but, um, but, but, um. Your school is malfunctioning, you're just being distracted by some fun new bots. Either way, you need to find a way to just solve this dispute. Cal is right, Scott. You got to be polite and respectful of people's privacy. Why not present them with an official form request for butt smelling? Touchdown! Oh, oh, I already have one of those. Scott hands you a piece of purple construction paper. Oh, he wrote, can I smell your butt? Yes or no. Mm -hmm. This is not a legal document. Allow me to assist. Calculus prints out biometric copies of a very official looking accuracy form and hands them to Scott. He clearly put some thought into yeah. this. Form A, size B, anal over, original request. Wow, it's even got a seal from the Bureau of Unimit Tush Tasting. Do you see now, friend Scott? Rockacy can be fun. Yeah, I'm gonna go pass this out to everyone. <laughs> With Scott gone, Calculus prints out a single copy of a different form, hands it to you in its form. Magic Isolation con Consent Request. Nice. Yay! Okay, so he still likes it. That's a positive. I kind of screw up with your parents, but... Alright! We're getting there. Um... Bathroom. The day you see the class is taking on the bathroom, spray your authorities, but you don't stop there. You want the world to know how reckless you are for the rest of eternity, so you do some graffiti in the wall. No way. The Greer says I'm bold as fuck, and you know what? It turns out the wall is a magical wall that grants wishes. What a wall. You deep voice resounds from the walls within said, well, not bold as fuck, but maybe a bit bold. Then you gain two boldness. Yes. Oh boy, that was an opinionated wall. Anyway, lucky you. Cool. Now all of my stats are in the tens or higher. Calculus finds you afterwards. He's clearly flustered, in fact. He's hot to the touch. Stop touching him and ask him what's wrong. <laughs> I will tell you what's wrong, friend Yellow. My virtual society has become too intelligently advanced. No, they have not solved war or world hunger or Mondays, but they begin to theorize about the nature of reality itself. Some believe that the entire world exists on a black of an enormous turtle. I am not worried about those people. Nor am I worried about the people who believe that the life is a dream. Those who believe it's a hallucination created by an evil demon offered me, offended me slightly, but the most Worrisome by far are those who theorize that the entire world is a virtual construct. <laughs> Surely, friend Yellow, you can understand the inherent danger here. If my citizens discover that their reality is not real, they may be well, destroying reality itself. Even worse, they'll be sad, which I do not think I will be able to bear. <laughs> Please use your organic dubiousness to help me lie to them more efficiently. It's my middle name. Um, send all of your most suspicious citizens to an even more virtual reality so they believe they've woken up in the real world. Your people are only asking so many questions because they have no mindless diversion to trap and they say, have I told you about the Kardashians? I'm not doing the Kardashians, hell no. Success. Of course, my citizens have become suspicious because their reality is not gr gritted or unpleasant enough. Constructing alternative reality now. Intimidating. Grammar alternative reality. XE. Downgrading, food quality, upgrading, enemy, AI, installing, sweating, 90s style, raves. <laughs> Patch complete. Now, can you. Oh, itchy, I will commence. Mal content transferred. They will be much happier in a place without an adequate nourishment or universal healthcare. Happy is maybe not the word you're quite looking for, considering, you know, the disgruntled world of Calc World 2.2, another greater reality. From there, Seems a lot of hacking and special effects and all that stuff. Eventually, everyone's so distracted and trying to follow the plot that they forget they're in a virtual reality Initializing altogether. Love.exe. Excellent. It is exactly what I expected. Thank you for your wise suggestion, friend Yellow. You plan for this? Well, the important thing is that he thinks he pla you planned for this. Two fun and one bonus. Hell yeah, boy. The monster break prom draws near. <laughs> I want to take Calc on a date. My name is Calculester. Please say yes. Oh, Calculester. Oh, I like that better. Oh. Alright. I was gonna say Calculus. Oh, yellow friend. Friend Yellow. You want to go to prom together? That sounds like fine plans. But I have another hmm. proposition. I want to work more on my virtual reality. But even if I'm a parent, I could only do so much with your hands. Then I remember that a body is constructed and I could have countless avatars operated by my system. <laughs> So I created dozens of calcu buddies. They're all me. But this is the first time I've done this, so I thought you could help me again. This time to see if all my avatars are fully operational. 
We can check if their motor skills work properly, if their central receptors are sensitive enough if I use the right proportions when designing their genitalia. Is Gakla suggesting you engage in a virtual orgy together? <laughs> you don't have a problem because cal calcular virtual reality you can make every night a prom night. It couldn't it could even be a prom night where you are not brutally rejected by your classmate for a change. But who cares about prom or any of your classmates? Your night is bound way more interesting. You meet Cal in the virtual reality. Get ready for some It's cal time for calculus. Calculus. <laughs> who cares about reality anymore? They're also like like well shaped. I love there's like a child. And there's like skinny semi-built and then there's like the dad bod of everyone's dreams. It's not only that you have fully sex with dozens of cow box of all colors and shapes. The weirdest yet coolest thing is that cow, being the supreme god of his virtuality, can bend the laws of physics to his will and pleasure. And that's not the only thing he bends. You spend a couple of hours in there, but cow makes it feel like five internal years. It's wild. With such a pure boy, cow is <laughs> sure kinky. I'm most likely to survive from a year of drinking his own pee, Cal's quote, it's not about how much memories you have in your process, but how good those memories are. That I love. One new secret ending, 17. Hey. Look at this group photo now. Those six weeks may be the most epic and obscure weeks of your life. After the monster prom kept on in our lives, feeling love, battling our friendships and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does, life happens and it always will. Calculus went to the Robo University and majored in mecha robotics. He's now 250 feet tall and fights against the weird giant creatures protecting Tokyo 3. Demi found a peace in the most unexpected way. He was punching everything until one day he punched his own anger to death. He's written a book about it. Liam started... So that was Damien. Liam... Where is Liam? Liam's here. Liam started an inconsistent band that broke all conventions. Their latest album has a has been a hit. It has no songs at all. The album is actually just a banana set on fires. I mean, sure Liam doesn't care if you don't get it. Or is that Liam? For the six weeks, Monster Prom seemed larger than life, and then it was gone just like that. The battle for Monster Prom night might have ended then. But there were plenty of battles left in the war called youth. But once again, we were young, we were unafraid, and we were ready to start. One, two, three, four. But no, that was so good. Um, term two was just as good as term one. I know a lot of it was like the same. But it was also like different at the same time. I don't know. I liked that. I thought it was really good. Obviously, my heart was with Cal the and through. I like I like cute, nice, and caring boys. So obviously, Cal got my heart. But no, it was really cool to play, and I had a lot of fun as always with these games. I'm trying to see if it's gonna give like voice if that was um, Anna Brisbane. Fifteen minutes. Must be bam 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 bam. Cause I know Nate wants to battle, or AKA Nathan Sharp is in this. Yeah, Aaron Harrison was the other one. Oh yeah, Cry was Liam, Nathan Sharp, Christine V. Of course she was in this. Um, Jack Hey, sure. I'm looking. Oh, I knew it was the ill too. I knew it was Anna Brisbane. Yeah, I knew that was Anna Brisbane. As soon as I heard her voice, I was like. It's Anna Brisbane, isn't it? The shop now has a paper mat. So vintage. You now look two images in the gallery. Where is... Oh, there's a gallery? Where? What? So this was from the previous one because that was my characters there. That's cute. We got that one as well. Cool. We got some... Oh, we got some cute Polaroids. Oh, they're cute. Oh. Oh, we got a new Polaroid, hold on. Let's get drunk on life's beauty. Oh, I like that, that's cute, Oh, That's cute. There's no more, there's more art though. Woo -hoo. So we got all the different characters. Oh, we got, hold on, new ones. Back it up, back it up. Oh, so that's the player screen, yep. We got the class photo, old school map. 
It's a sketch of it. Well, it's a prom. Comes it off of Leonard and Dahlia. I like that. That's cool. Oh, we got some fan art in here. I like that. By Twitter. It's by Tumblr. That's cool. I like how they're putting fan art in here. It's actually really cool. It's a smart idea. But anyway, that is the end of Monster Prom Term 2. Maybe there might be a Term 3 and Term 4 coming out in like a long time. I don't know. That's just a guess. I kind of hope that'd be kind of cool. Anyway, try out. See you guys in the next video. Whoop! Sidecast out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. See ya. Oh, Calc.